one door closes, a window opens. All things that start must come to an end. CNJ Fishing, as we know it, has uh, come to its end. Jason has decided to go into the United States Air Force, and he will be proudly serving our country. And I will truly miss and love that man like a brother. But he will still be around for the good majority of the season, so that is not the end of this CNJ fishing. But a little things have changed. Jason's no longer going to be behind this camera, running it, and we're moving over to this channel. Uh, I'm going to be changing the name to Old West Fishing. Everything's going to be a little bit different from now on, but we're still going to be bringing you quality content at the viewer's discretion as much as you want it, as much as we promise you to bring it. Um, this summer I'm going to be bringing in a lot of uh, new ideas to the channel. Uh, everything's going to be changing, uh, changing for the better as well. And so, with that malarkey out of the way, start the intro. Jason just pulled a toad out of Walnut Pond. I just caught a little dink, didn't uh, record it. He's gonna be on the video. Look at him, he's chubby, man. Wasn't that an awesome intro? Because I have no idea what it looks like yet. <laughs> but uh, this is going to be our new background. United States military flag. Gadsden flag. This is my room. And today the first video is we're going to be starting with a tackle bag review for the new fish fishing this spring. Uh, each uh, season I'm going to be trying to do one of these. As long as you and my viewers still like that. If it gets annoying I'll stop doing that I promise. Anyways uh, I'm going to be going through my bag and telling you the ins outs and what I hate what I love and why I love it and why I hate it about this bag what I keep in this bag and how I keep this bag uh, stay tuned okay so first with I guess we can start I don't know this bag is just so full I guess we can start in the biggest pocket so in this largest pocket my first box is my jig box I keep all my jigs in here from swim jigs, bladed chatter baits, uh, you know, pitching jigs, uh, punching jigs, uh, any jig that I would possibly need, I keep in this box. It's double sided. I believe it's a Plano box. Plano, hit me up. I know you're out there listening to me. I keep all my jigs in here. So I, my favorite one would definitely be the. Uh, this guy right here, I don't know if you can see that, but, uh, putting a Gary Yamamoto crawdaddy on the back, uh, I think it's called, uh, you know, that orange, orange pepper back on it. So yeah, that's my, that's my bit, main jig box. Next box is the Plano, uh, water gasket, waterproof. Uh, terminal tackle box. I keep all my terminal tackle in this box. Uh, keeps it nice and organized. Again, by Plano. Shout out to Plano. I know you're listening to me, Plano. Just quit ignoring my DMs. <laughs> no, but um, I love this box. It's a great box. I just picked it up, but I can already tell it's extremely well put together. And I keep everything from punch stops, uh, Ned rig hooks, worm hooks, swim bait hooks, bladed swim bait hooks, shaky heads, drop shot, wacky wit rig hooks. I keep everything in here. And you want to make sure that you're putting all your gear in the waterproof containers because if you don't, that's a good way to get all your hooks rusted. So, yeah, you want to make sure that you're putting all of your hooks and whatnot in a waterproof box. And then next would be my bladed swim or uh, my uh, uh, spinnerbait box and my buzzbait. I think only think I have like one buzzbait in here. But nonetheless, great buzzbaits in here. Uh, again, this is 
Again, by Plano, it's their specifically made uh, spinnerbait box with the individual little uh, tablets made in here where it keeps them all in order. Great little box made by Plano. And no, I am not sponsored by Plano. Yet. Uh, next box would be probably, the, <laughs> this box alone probably costs 100 bucks. I keep my highest quality, most expensive uh, um, crank baits and hard baits in here. I This is a Flambo 33700, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, I also would call this like a day box. If I'm going to need anything like square barrel cranks, lipless cranks, jerk bait, wake bait, anything, that's going to be right in there. And this is in the Flambeau 3700 3, with the dividers, waterproof gasket. So you know it's going to keep... How am I on battery? Am I even recording? Okay. Anyways, sorry about that. I gave all my Flambo good quality boxes. Flambo hit me up. Want those sponsorship money? Uh, and then up here, I keep a little first aid kit. You can never have too many of these on hand because me and Jason are always slicing up our fingers, getting a hook stuck in our hand, burning ourselves, getting stung by something. Uh, that's pretty much it on the back box or on the back pocket. Up front, second bag, or second portion of the bag, we got, I call this my random parts and hard baits that I rarely ever use. I keep, because I'm here located in sunny, sunny Omaha, Nebraska, so if we're not fishing a small stream, it's a dirty, dirty pond or a dirty, dirty lake. There is no clear water within 150 miles of this place. So everything I fish will have to be fished in dirty, stained, muddy, gross water. So I keep all my, uh, you know, big swim baits, my giant spooks. I mean, look at this bad boy. I believe this is a... You lost Super Spook, if I'm not mistaken. Look at that big boy. Most bass I, in Omaha aren't even that size. So we got big, big swim baits in this box. Big live target thre thread fin shad in there. Everything that's very rarely going to be used. A deep 15 foot diving uh, KVD uh, diving crankbait in here. Everything that... I'm rarely going to use is going to, I'm going to keep in this 3600 by Plano. Next box is going to be my top water box. This is my pride and joy. I love this box. And again, by Plano. <laughs> I keep all of my top waters. I keep from poppers, spooks. Ah, there we go. You see, I got poppers, wake baits. Actually, two lipless cranks, so whopper plopper, buzz frogs, uh, top water frogs, just got about everything I need in this here Plano 360 box right here, right at you. Then on my top pocket, uh, got to represent the United States of America, God bless it, military family born and raised, proud of it. Keep that flag right up there to make sure that people know that I'm flying true. <laughs> no, but in this place. This little bag, I keep, I try to do some fly fishing. I grew up in northern Wyoming, so fly fishing is, uh, I grew up fly fishing, it's always been my passion. So I keep some fly leader up there. I keep my little scale up in here. Uh, tape, because we're always needing tape, we're always tearing something. And then the good old wacky tools. You can never not have enough wacky O-rings to rig your wacky ring rig. And then I keep a little... Survival knife, because you never know, because sometimes me and Jason do like to head out in the more back parts of eastern Nebraska. And then up front is going to be all of my plastics. Oh yes, it's true. All my plastics. I got 
swim bait, Yamamoto, Yamamoto, swim bait, uh, Lake Fork Tackle, Z-Man, Yamamoto, Big Bite Bait, uh, v &M. I got soft baits on deck. <laughs> I keep all my swim baits, all my gear up front because that's the majority of what we use here is soft plastics. You know, whether it's like a Senko or actually my favorite right now is, uh, I'm sure you guys know, Lake Fork Tackle and the, oh, smells like an Italian restaurant in here now. Uh, super garlicky, segmented, um, let's see, uh, Magic Craw, and it's on the tip of my tongue, Hyper Stick. They call that the Hyper Stick with the segmented bits on that, and it's the Magic Molten Craw. But you know what? It mimics a bluegill very well in the water. Rig this up wacky rig or Nico rig for sure. Putting a little nail right at the nose. Hooking it right about here. Or you know what? Even in the segment. And just dancing that on the bottom. You can guarantee a strike on that. If you can see the fish, you can get that strike on that fish. But uh, I'm definitely recommending this. And these are going to... I am guaranteeing I catch my PB on this this year. I'm going for the uh, Master Angler this year, and I'm going to beat that Master Angler. Uh, guarantee you it's going to be on one of those bad boys, or on the Yamamoto Craw. Again, not sponsored, but please hit me up, Mr. Yamamoto. These things rock. I love these things. Put them on trailers, put them on shaky heads, put them on jigs, put them on anything. These guys rock. Anyways, now that I've made a complete mess of my room, I'm going to have to put everything back in my bag. But I did that just because I love all of you guys. Keep fishing. Keep me in mind. Rip some lips. Break some hearts. Think about the fishing. Always think about the fishing. My name's Christian Hatch, and I'll see you all in the next video.